Boys, this is a Jake package, and I know what this is, and you guys don't know what this is, but you need to tell me what handle to put on this thing, because it's wild. Bubble wrap, packing tape, painter's tape, garden hose. Look at this wild contraption. Look at how thick that is. So, forged by Todd Elder of the Elder Anvil, who we've been good friends with for quite some time, and uh, designed by Jake. Which is a Jake. So, we're gonna throw this on a handle. Let me know. Let's see what it weighs. Well, I gotta reset it. 6.3 pounds, so it's a monster. Let me know uh, what length handle you think I should throw it on. So, I hung this. I didn't get any videos of me hanging it. I got very eager at work and was like, let's hang this thing and let's swing it, because it's, I just wanted to use it. So, 28 inch straight faller's axe handle that we offer at Whiskey River, walnut wedge right on the top there. And again, this is the spear point head by Forged by Todd Elder, designed by Voices of Jake on Instagram and TikTok. And he's basically a TikTok star. So, um, but yeah, I was like sitting at work, looking at the head on my desk and I was like, let's just, um, let's just find a handle to fit it on. Um, do I think that the 28 is the most, uh, the best handle for this? I'm not sure. I'm. I kind of wanted to do a long 36 inch handle on it just to be fun, um, but I didn't have any long 36 inch handles, but I always have the opportunity to pull this head off and put a new handle on it, seeing the fact that we have a bunch of axe handles. So um, I'm spoiled in that way. So this is apple wood that uh, my buddy hauled over. It's giant. This was a huge crab apple tree. Um, and we've got a huge tote here of crab apple that I'm slowly splitting up and we're selling the smoking wood in small chunks. But I was like, let's, it, I think it's a good test. This is very dense, very heavy wood, very tight grain. We're looking at like this, this tree right here is like, you know, I don't know how old this is here, but it's like tight grain, super dense, super hard to split. Uh, and we've been cutting it in cookies where it's only like four inches. And then we've been splitting it that way. It splits pretty nice, but I've never split one of these. This is about 16 inches. so. Um, we're going to try it, see what happens. So here we go. Actually, that's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's cr nice crack in it. Nice crack in it. Look at that. Splitting down. So my first thought, my first thought in the first couple swings is that it, when it, uh, when it goes in, it doesn't get pinched like a, uh, like a normal ax does because of the fact that you know, it's not, surface area isn't from here to here, it's only in the centerpiece. So we don't have that tight grip that it has when you are like heaving on it like a splitting wall, trying to get it out. And then that ultimately ends up weakening the, weakening the handle, weakening the hang. You end up breaking fibers in the handle and then it ends up breaking. So um, there's, a, there's a design advantage to it. There we go. That's stringy stuff. Very stringy. One more swing. Let's try it. Ready? I think I can get this in one swing. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see if I can do it. I'm going to move. Clear your work area. Have a clear work area. Ugh. All right, that's clear. All right, here we go, ready? I'm gonna swing for the fences on this. Oh, hard hit, see, easy to pop out. I did definitely did not get it in one swing. Let's try two swings. Three is a charm.
Five's the charm. Is five the charm? There we go. Nice. So this isn't super easy wood to split up because how dense it is and how stringy it is. But man, it smells amazing. I love the smell of apple, apple wood. And we don't have much apple up here, so it's kind of like a rare wood for us to be splitting. But I don't know, there's been a bunch of naysayers about this ax being like, you know, bubba talk. And uh, I'm super happy with it. It splits great. I don't think it's, I don't think it's uh, gimmicky. It's also 6.3 pounds. This head is 6.3 pounds, so this is heavy. At the end of the day, it's just kind of the weight that helps too. Look at that bite right there. Just splits right through it. So that is the spear point splitter by Voices of Jake and Todd Elder of the Elder Anvil. Hit them up. If you want one, hit them up. This one's number 10. Yeah, this one's number 10. I thought maybe it was number one for a second. Number 10. Um, and uh, it works great on a 28. Someday I'll hang it on a 36 and we'll try it out. Maybe I'll hang it on a 19 and try it out. But there it is, spear point splitter.